Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from Lambeau. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. the play fake love well the first play of the game going to be intercepted Teron Johnson able to pick it wow just one snap in partner and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage and even though it's only the first snap of the game we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards and begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Allen looks to throw on second down. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Now Allen. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. But that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there Here without go. a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On third down, Love looking deep here for Dobbs. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives, and it looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Ready, Love going to stay out there. They'll take a chance on fourth down. 43 in the mic. Wait, wait. 43 in the mic. They're going to try and throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. 
Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. On second down, here's Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. And the Packers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers? And this is caught! And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay! Christian Watson... 54 yards and the Packers are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead Anders Carlson now for the point after he's got it and they'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown and that makes it seven to three So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Cook up the gut. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. They run it again with Cook. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield but they never did. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Allen. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They do go for it. Here's Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Down to the 10. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 59 yards. And the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 59 yards. He's already got one touchdown this first half already. That very nearly was a second. Defensively, they're going to have to figure something out because he's been able to outrun the defenders early and often so far. 
And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Down, yellow, 43. Watch the screen, 22 needle. Okay. Bluff. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They go bootleg. Love. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Bills are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity lost. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. So after the INT, it's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. Allen going to change the look here. They run again on first down. Cook. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They run the counter with Cook, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 28. Here's Allen to throw it. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. And again, it's Allen. His throw incomplete. Their partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm. But this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 
Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too far. Down the numbers. There he goes. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. James Cook, 34 yards. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half.